thought our defense was uh, was good for the most part. I think KJ got in the lane a little bit too frequently in the first half. Uh, we did a better job in the second half, and then uh, when the lead got stretched out, we uh, I thought we just relaxed a little bit. But uh, pleased with our effort. Uh, Shiloh obviously had a really good game, and uh, again, I, I think we've got a group that will pick up the pieces and take what the defense gives them, and I thought that was evident tonight. Uh, hey, Coach, so uh, following that loss to EKU, uh, coming back, having a couple of days to prepare, how would you say the team's mindset was uh, during the week of practice? Uh, yeah, yeah that, good question. I think we have a group that, and I said this in the, with the media earlier in the week, we, we have a group that really is mature in their response. And uh, we understand that losses occur during the season. And although disappointed, we didn't get the desired result. I uh, feel like our guys are they're really connected. They really they really care. And I think those are two ingredients that you can have a successful season if you continue to grow. Thanks, Coach. Now we'll get some questions from the media. Last season, we started talking about Shiloh and comparison, like Anthony Granger, like that type of player. It's like then the offense production started to go downhill. But is it good to see him put together a night like this? 11 and 13 from the field, make a variety of shots, especially coming off the bench, which has done five more games. Yeah, and it's Danny Granger. And are you insinuating that when I made that comment, I messed up the rest of the year for him? All right, Dan. All right. Now, he, uh, yeah, Shiloh, he cares. He, uh, he'll do whatever you ask him to do. And I thought, you know, when he sees it go in, his confidence, like most of us, goes way up. Uh, what it will be understated, he really was defensively was really sound, and he typically brings that on a regular basis. But again, I, like this stat sheet that we have, we, we just don't. It's not just about the TPs; it's about the little things that lead to winning. And I think Shiloh uh, and a host of his teammates they really pursue that with a with a vigor. Is that the defense played on KJ with a little bit longer, especially when he's seeing the ball go in on playoffs in the first half he's able to put that longer guy on yeah i don't know if it was the the game plan i, I think we shiloh has defensive versatility you can guard one through five and uh and that's a luxury that you have as a coach and uh, i think coach pierre and coach jones who usually assigned the matchups uh felt like you know they they wanted to mix it up a little bit and uh, i liked what i saw coach we talked yesterday you said that you personally don't really care too much about who starts uh, you know, but obviously the guys do, you know, they, they pay attention to that. So Shiloh obviously knows he hasn't been starting the last three or four games, but for him to, you know, stay connected, and I guess that just ties into what you've been preaching all year, right? Just yeah. the connectedness of this team. Yeah, no, John, he, he again, uh, our whole group is like that. They they will sacrifice him. Blake, when he wasn't starting, he had a great attitude. You guys weren't close enough, but if you would have heard Blake while Shiloh was playing the first half, good D, good shot, keep it going, shy, like that. Again, that's why I say it's it's really a privilege to coach our group uh, because they, they have a spirit of unity that I think is fairly uncommon, especially at this level. Your team went on a 16 0 run there in the first half, punctuated by back to back Kyle Road threes. And that came not long after he had, I think he missed his first three shots of the night. But, you know, again, for Kyle to, to step up and hit those threes to kind of give your team a little bit of separation. How big was that? Yeah, you know, we don't measure the shot. The quality of the shot, whether it goes in or not, we you know, we've seen Kyle Road make a lot of those. So I'm glad he just kept taking them. Um, and again, our team has I'll go Clark Kellogg on you guys some spurt ability, and uh, and and obviously when you have number two out there and he's surrounded by some other guys that are proficient from behind the arc, it it looks uh, uh it looks fairly like we know what we're trying to do, fairly like that. Uh, oh. Uh, Shallow's three straightaway three there. That once they they get the lead down to thirteen, we feel a sense of calming the sense on the sideline when he hit that. But you have to look at things that is order there. Name, I'm always calm. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think they went a little run. They had a little confidence, and uh, uh, Shallow stopped the run. And uh, again, but it could be a host of guys that are willing and capable of taking and making that shot. Uh, Zach, little. Under the weather, he uh, hope he's back tomorrow for practice and may have been able to play, but uh, he did, didn't make it to the arena. It's a non-COVID-related issue.
Thank you, guys.